I think one of you are well by the grace of the Almighty. <coughs> Today, I will take your class, the honors first year, and uh, today's topic will be on WS questions. How to do WS questions? So, to WS questions, at first you have to keep in mind several WS words uh, such as who, what, where, when, how, etc. And there may be several questions such as several complex words such as how long, how time, how fast, etc. But why? These are the fundamental complex questions you have to keep in mind. And to make any complex questions, you have to keep in mind how to turn an assertive sentence into interrogative. It's the fundamental factor. So, how you have to turn any assertive sentence into interrogative? You know that at transformation you have learned about it. I told you that and you have learned that to turn any assertive sentence into interrogative. At first, you have to find out whether, whether there is any auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb in the sentence. If there is any auxiliary verb, you will take the auxiliary verb at the first or at the starting of the sentence. And if there is no auxiliary verb, you have to take do, does, did, do, does, did, according to the tense of the verb. When it will be any present tense, you will take do, and if there is yes or yes after do or does, you have to uh, yes or yes or yes after the verb. You have to take does then for the case of past tense you have to take did do does and did whether there is auxiliary verb you have to put the auxiliary verb in the starting of the sentence and if there is no auxiliary verb you have to bring do does or did when do for the case of present tense you have to take do for the case of present tense and if there is verb uh, yes or yes after the verb, you have to take does and for past tense, you have to take did. So, how we have to make any uh, in, uh, assertive sentence into interrogative? At first, we will look that Salam lived in London. It's a sentence, very simple sentence, Salam lived in London. So, there is no auxiliary verb in the sentence, but the verb is at past form. So, you have to take did to turn it into interrogative. Did Salam live in London? We have turned it into interrogative, but it's not the top question. And to make it WH question, you have to bring any WH word in a state of its answer. Such as, here, Salam, we can bring in a state of Salam, who, or for the case of place in London, we can bring also where in a state of London. Then, as you like, if you uh, like to use the, uh, who, you have to omit the answer of the W is who. Who lived in London? So, this Salam lived in London. Who lived in London? Who lived in London? So, it's a W is question. Next, 
instead of the place in lord road he can use fire deed salam lead or deed salam lead in why <coughs> we have brought a fire instead of in lord and when we will bring the doublet word where lonjon will be omitted and why we have brought a deed because the verb was a past form lit for past form we have brought a deed and if you bring deed you have to be careful that whenever you will bring deed the verb will turn into present form so instead of lit a lit we have used here leave what did salam leave in? salam lit in london it's a double question and we will see another question he came here by bus it's an assertive sentence you have to turn this assertive sentence into not only interrogative but into wh question when you will uh, turn it into wh question at first you have to uh, make sure that what wh is or you will use here by bus here by bus it's the answer of how did he come here so if we omit the answer by bus we have to use here how as wh how did how did he come how did he come here how did he come here it's a wh question instead of this we have to make suppose when there will be time he came here at 10 am he came here at 10 am here the 10 am indicates time when time indicates we can use when when did why we have used to have did because the verb was at past form when did he and i have told you that if you use did you have to turn the verb into present form so when did he come why come because the present form of can is come we have to use the present form when did he come here when did he come here it's a wh question he is then years old he is 10 years old next how here the question is of age how old how old is he what happens here here there is an auxiliary verb is so we have to there is we need not to bring do does or did because here there is an auxiliary verb here and it is so to make a uh, turn it into interrogative we have used here auxiliary verb is how old to indicate age of anyone to ask the age of anyone we can use how old how old is he if we look at another example 
Now it is eleven L. We can make it a question by what is what is the time now? What is the now it is eleven AM? What is the time now? It's the appropriate W is question. To narrate his speech, suppose he ran two kilometers per hour. He ran two kilometers per hour. He ran two kilometers per hour. How fast? Here, how fast? He did. He ran. What happens here? How fast? How fast did he run? How fast? It's the speed of him. So we have asked the question by telling that how fast did he run? How fast did he run? He ran two kilometers per hour. If the sentence is enlarged and the sentence may be a uh, large sentence, there may be more than one, two, three, or more and more. Uh, answers by which we can make questions such as we went to Dhaka to buy a car. Here we went to Dhaka. Look at the example. We went to Dhaka to buy a car. We can use two WS questions here. If we omit two dhaka, it's the place. So then we will ask the question by where if we want to omit to buy a car, it's the reason. Why we went to Dhaka is the reason. We have to ask by why. By why? We went to Dhaka to buy a car. Where did you go to buy a car? We have to omit that portion for which we have brought here double H question. We have brought double H question where? So, just the answer of where to Dhaka will be omitted. And all the words will be brought into the sentence. Why did you go to buy a car? Why did you go to buy a car? We also make another alternative question such as why? Why did you go to Dhaka? All the time the first person used the first person used in an assertive sentence will turn into second person. Whenever you will make any question, it will turn into second person. And you must have to put note of interrogation after the sentence. As you know it that for interrogative sentence, we Always use note of interrogation, otherwise it doesn't turn into interrogative. Okay? So, uh, 
you will practice it at home and I will discuss more information about uh, another question at our next class. Thank you everyone.